idea is that we're in a position whereby we can support the other ETVs in bringing their middle leaders together. And I suppose we would have the uh, organisational structure to do that. So one of the great advantages for us has been the opportunity to bring all of the ETVs uh, in, under the one roof and to share their experiences, their interests, and their, well, the areas that they want to work on and develop on for themselves as middle leaders, so that the next generation of senior leaders are being nourished uh, by each other and also by informed debate and by new thinking and new ideas. The main thing that has stood out to me at the moment is the opportunity to connect with the other ETVs. So we have 16 ETVs and, and we promote that we're one voice, so it's very important for us to work together and to be able to network and talk to colleagues from around the country about what's happening within their ETV and they can discuss what's happening in, in DDL and we can share our ideas and programs and um, our experiences. Well, I think all delegates were very, very impressed with what uh, the contribution of Professor Neve Horrigan provided to the delegate uh, group and Neve spoke passionately about uh, the fact that uh, it's going to be very, very important for the future leaders and leaders who are currently in schools to be thinking about emotional intelligence and how they can actually learn emotional intelligence uh, in terms of uh, research and uh, experience as well, as she mentioned very strongly in her, in her delivery. She spoke also about resilience and backbone and having courage. Uh, and all of those qualities are, are certainly very much required uh, for future leadership. Part of my work yeah, as, a lead, as a middle leader in, in ETV school, especially with promoting equality, diversity, and inclusion, I think that's so. It's so important. It's so it's so integral to our, our students and our student lives and their feeling of belonging in our schools. And so I think it's really important that we kind of really focus on that, so that our students feel like they belong. That their schools are for them, and that they're learning to the best of their ability because they feel comfortable and they feel welcomed and they feel safe in our school spaces. So I think that's one of the biggest things for me as a middle leader that I get to promote that practice and, and engage in celebrating our differences and, and our diversity in our schools. So I'm really, I'm really happy to be here and part of these conversations. Terrific opportunity to meet other AP1s or AP2s from different uh, ETVs to compare roles and have professional conversations. I think it's an important opportunity to, to meet people from ETVI, like we just had a talk there from the Community National School, so to learn about the ethos and a bit about that piece, which I think is very important for our sector, uh, that we have common values and common approaches and more systematic approaches. I really liked the variety of different speakers, um, in particular Neve Horrigan, a sociologist. Um, she gave us quite a lot of advice and tips on how to approach different situations and then also the relaxed pace um, which we all appreciated and we're definitely coming away more informed and happy. <laughs>of the chance to explore the various domains of being a middle leader under the leadership um, domains that are outlined in looking at our schools and from that then there is a chance to explore greater what it is to be an effective leader how you influence others in the school the key roles and tasks of school improvement the structures that are necessary and indeed the planning that goes into all of that um, the real quality of speakers has really It'll really impact um, and my leadership journey and what I can bring back to my school and my KCETB. Also, it's about conversations, um, not just on the formal conversations, but the conversations I'm having with colleagues, with people in my own um, community, with positions in other schools and learning from them that it's um, far exceeded my expectations. It's just been amazing and it's been 100% worthwhile. All we have to do is look around us here at the University of Limerick and we see a great educational setting. So it's great to have teachers coming together in a middle management position, colleagues collaborating, sharing best practice, you know, listening to professionals coming in and expertise, talking to them about various aspects that affect school leadership. So I'm delighted to be here and I'm delighted to see you know, such a range of teachers here from right across our 16 ETBs. Fantastic event for ETBI and for all that's involved in it, so well done.